Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to Paragon Software Group's Drive Backup 10 Server Product Overview. This is a four-part series that will review the features and functionality of the Drive Backup Server application. These features include the creation of sector and file level backups, differentials and incrementals, creating a backup capsule, creating synthetic and cyclic backups, virtualization, disk and partition copying, scheduling and scripting, working with Paragon Archives, the different types of recovery media, our ability to restore to dissimilar hardware using our adaptive restore technology, and finally our add-on components, which comprise of our granular recovery for exchange and our remote management application. This is part two of the four-part series. Today we're going to focus on these two features of the application. Launching the application brings up the main interface. This interface will provide us access to all the features we'll be discussing today. Virtualization. Moving to the Virtualization task section of the side menu, we select P2V Copy. Through the P2V Copy wizard, Paragon Drive Backup allows you to create a virtual instance of your system. Again, you have options of virtualizing a single partition or the entire system, which may include multiple disks. We currently support numerous virtual destination platforms. Those include VMware's Workstation, Fusion, and ESX, Microsoft's Virtual PC, Virtual Server, and Hyper-V, and Oracle VirtualBox. Not only does Drive Backup allow you to create the virtual disk file, but it also helps you create the virtual configuration file. This will be used by the virtual host platform to make the transition to virtual a seamless one. We provide you the ability to change virtual machine version, to find the number of CPUs that will be used, and how much memory you'll be allocating for the new virtual machine. On the disk properties page, we get to select which adapter the virtual disk will be using in the new environment. By clicking on the disk tools icon, it brings up the window that allows us to resize the new virtual disk that will be created. By clicking on the resize partitions proportionally checkbox, all partitions will increase equally and proportionally based on the new disk size. Next in our virtualization category, we have the P2V Restore. This allows us to take a previously created partition or disk backup and restore it into a virtual machine. As with the P2V copy, we get to select whether we're going to virtualize individual partitions, disks, or the entire system. Also, the virtualization destination platforms remain the same, as well as the configuration settings. Finally, in the virtualization task section, we have the P2V Adjust wizard. This allows us to take an existing virtual disk file, whether it was created with Paragon or not, and adjust it to one of the virtual platforms supported by Paragon. The destination platforms for the P2V Adjust are the same as the P2V Copy and P2V Restore. One additional feature that Drive Backup has to work with virtual systems is the Connect to Virtual Disk. This can be found under the Hard Disk drop-down menu and select Connect a Virtual Disk. You can browse and then connect to any of the supported virtual disk files. Then you can set any of the additional options, like connecting the disk at the program start or connect the disk as read-only. Once the virtual disk has been connected, it can be used for any of the Paragon backup processes. For instance, you can create an image of a connected virtual disk, or you can take a connected VMware disk and convert it to a Hyper-V by doing a P2V copy and selecting Hyper-V. Disk and Partition Copying Moving to the Copy Task section of the side menu, we select Copy Disk. This is Paragon's version of disk cloning. This is where we select our source disk, and in this case is the virtual disk we just connected to. Next we select the destination disk. The destination disk will be completely overwritten with the exact replica of the data that was on the source disk. You will be prompted with the confirmation screen to continue acknowledging that you're going to be completely wiping out all the data on that destination drive. If you decide to continue the copy operation, you will be provided options in which to do the copy. These include hard disk and partition raw copy, 
which are sector for sector copies, which copies not only the used data sectors, but all the sectors on the disk, which will significantly increase the time of the copy operation. These options are not typically used unless a forensic copy of a disk is needed or a disk is failing. The next setting is incremental copy. This option, if selected, makes a comparison between the source and the destination disk and copies only the differences at a sector level. Finally are the resize options. You should select these options if the destination disk is larger than the source and if you want all partitions to increase based on how much bigger that destination drive will be. This concludes part 2 of the Drive Backup 10 server overview. Please view the remaining parts of this video series to see all the features and functionality that Drive Backup 10 server has to offer. For additional information including sales or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.